So I want to share, I want to share this because this is a, a true story, and, and, and then I'm going to go. Um, so this is a story that, that I, was, I was, while I was writing this whole act, like a year ago, driving around in the car with my daughter, who at the time was six years old, okay? And I'm uh, talking to my friend on the phone, and I'm telling him, like, yeah, I really want to do this bit about original sin. And, my, and I hang up the phone, and my daughter goes, Daddy, what's original sin? And I'm like, wow, you know, she's never... She's never experienced this. She doesn't know what I'm talking about. And I said, well, you know, honey, it would be hard to explain to you because you don't know any of the characters in the Bible. Like, if I try to explain to you, you're not going to know what I'm talking about. Let me give you an, an analogy. And I, I said, okay, so imagine dad is God. I know. It's pretty easy to do, actually. Uh, I go, and, and you know how, how dad tells you don't, not to put your fingers in your food? She goes, yeah. I go, all right, well, let's say that I said, do not put your fingers in your food again. And if you do, I'm going to have to punish you and everybody else for all eternity. And then a couple weeks go by, and you put your fingers in your food, and I go, I, I warned you. And then I just start walking around the world and just start punching people in their face, right? And I'm punching people in their face like, oh, my God, why are you doing that? I'm like, she put her fingers in her food. It's called justice. Bam, and I'm punching people in the face. I'm like, stop it. I'm like, no, she should have put her fingers in her food. It's your problem. Bam, and I'm punching people in the face, and I'm just punching people in the face. And after a couple of million years or a few thousand, depending on whose book you read, I... Uh, <laughs> I say to myself, you know what? I might be being a tad bit irrational. So uh, I decide to have another kid, this time a son. And I decide to punch him in the face. <laughs> to tell other people, look, I'm punching this baby in the face <laughs> so that I don't have to punch you in the face because she put her fingers in her food. And my daughter starts laughing her ass off. She's like, Dad, stop it. Quit being silly. I want to know the real story. Tell me what really happened. And I said, fine, fine. Okay, what really happened? All right, God creates two people, Adam and Eve. And he says, do not eat this fruit from this tree. It's a forbidden tree of knowledge. We cannot have you thinking. So do not <laughs> eat that fruit from the tree of knowledge. Or I'm going to punish you and everybody for all eternity by throwing him to hell and burn forever. A little while goes by and a talking snake comes up and he says, uh, don't worry about that guy. Go ahead and eat the fruit. So Eve eats the fruit and God goes, I told you, I warned you, and now you're all going to burn in hell. And everybody from, from, from here on out, burn in hell. He just starts sending people to hell. He's sending people to hell left and right. He's sending this guy to hell. Everybody who's born said it. Why? Well, because she ate some fruit. It's not my fault. It's called justice. And then after about a couple of million years or a few thousand, depending on whose book you read, um, God says to himself, I might be being a tad bit irrational. I'm going to have another son and murder him. <laughs> so that you don't have to go to hell because this chick ate some fruit. And my daughter gets really angry at me. She goes, Daddy, stop it. Quit being silly. That doesn't make any sense. Now tell me what really happened. And I looked at her and I go, you know what, baby girl? That is the appropriate response. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Good night.